Hi, I'm Valerie Getch. In my last Lightroom tutorial, I talked about using stacking to help organize your photos and condense screen real estate. Stacks are great for consolidating multiple photos that are very similar. You can do it manually, but automatic stacking is handy when you've got hundreds of images you want to group into different stacks. You can tell Lightroom to automatically group your images based on time intervals between shots. So this is really useful when you're taking a series of bracketed images to create HDR photos, for example. It's also helpful if you're taking burst shots of a sporting event, and also if you're shooting in both JPEG and RAW, you can set it up so that you have one image stacked behind the other to help condense space. So stay tuned, and I'll show you how to set this up. If you watched my earlier tutorial on stacking, you'll know that you can select several images and then just hit Control G to group them into a stack. And you'll have one representative image on top with the other images hidden underneath, like so. A faster way when you're dealing with many images, like with bracket exposures or other images shot in burst mode, is to tell Lightroom to automatically group your images into stacks based on capture time. So I'm going to show you how that works here. Um, this is a group of images that I shot in burst mode. And so I want to group these by capture time. So I'm going to highlight them, hit Photo, Stacking, and Auto Stack by Capture Time. And you'll get this dialog box. You'll notice you can move the slider from zero seconds all the way up to an hour. And generally, the smaller the interval or space of time between shots, the more stacks you'll have. And if the interval is longer, you'll have fewer stacks, but more images in each stack. So you can see how it changes as we move the time interval. So suppose I specify 10 seconds between shots. So I'm going to move this up to 10. And then all images with a photo capture time of less than 10 seconds apart will be grouped in a stack. And then a new stack will be created when the next group of photos has a capture time that is 10 seconds or more later than that previous photo's capture time. So let's create our stacks here. And you can see now that they are in stacks and they're expanded. So let me just um, collapse all stacks. I'm going to hit Photo, Stacking and collapse all stacks. So here are my collapsed stacks. So I have five stacks and you can see how quickly those were created. Now this is just a really small example. So imagine if you had hundreds of images you wanted to put in stacks. So it uh, can definitely be a real time saver. So some things to remember when creating automatic stacks. The greater the time between the shots, the fewer the stacks, but each one will contain more images and you'll likely get more unrelated photos included. The smaller the time interval, the more stacks, but they'll probably be more accurate. If you have a lot of similar images, you can see that using auto stacking is much easier than doing this manually. So if you found this tutorial helpful, please hit the like and the subscribe buttons below. Thanks. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Lightroom tutorial. Stay tuned for more tips and tutorials as we work our way through the Lightroom workflow. And be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss anything. In the meantime, go out and have fun with your camera, and I'll see you back here soon.